Santino, oh, a lot of unhappy Man United fans walking out of that stadium there today, mate. Uh, was the writing on the wall? Should we have expected that after what we've seen so far this season? Or did you have any hope at all going into that game? Well, I think after the Brentford game, they sort of let us down a false dawn. Like 3-0, we played quite well against Brentford. And then we turn up to what we've seen all season there. Just sort of a mixed bag of performances. You don't know what you're going to get with United at the minute. It could be a really good performance or it could be a really bad performance. And today was, I think, a lot worse than what I actually thought we were going to perform with. Yeah, was but, it more disappointing that it was so easy for Brighton to dissect us? Yeah, I think it was. I think we just kind of, what we've done all season, we just laid down and let them embarrass us. And that's what it come down to today. They utterly embarrassed us. I mean, Brighton fans walking out here like they've won the league and really they've beat a very, very poor Man United side that quite clearly don't give a shit what they do on the pitch at the minute. I've said it, I'm a big advocate, mate, of uh, the opposition not being blinkered, being a more reali realistic view on how things break down, how football goes. And every Brighton fan that we spoke to out here has said they're uh, absolutely amazed at how appalling United are and how bad they were today. We've got no structure. We, I, I'm not one of these people that blames Ralph Ranjik. I think the problems go further than Ranjik. But at the same time, you look at, look at that out there today and you think, what is the game plan? You know, are we, are we playing a high line? Are we playing a deep line? Are we playing on the counter? Are we trying to control possession? We don't know. At the minute, we don't know, like I say, what we're going to get on that pitch. And today was anything other than a, a, a game plan. We were so poor and it's just so frustrating. I mean, usually I've got a lot of words, but um, I just don't know what to say at the minute. Like, all year, this is, this is what it's been all year. I've travelled for many games like 250 miles north. Today was a bit closer, but it doesn't matter whether it's north, south, east, west. That's what's on the pitch. Unhappy United fans travelling all four corners of the country tonight, mate. That's what's what's happening. But you're echoing everything that every United fan coming out of there. I mean, some fans didn't even hang around, mate. They just I've had yeah. enough. That's a sign of how the season's gone. That fans are actually travelling this far. I'm not even staying for the full 90 minutes. That's yeah. how bad it has got. And Dallow was the only player, from what I can remember, that stood there. But he stood there patting the chest, and it's an empty gesture because yeah. they don't care. Like, I can stand there patting the chest, but we lost 4 0 to Brighton. No matter what you say, like, this Brighton side is crap. Like, they're bottom three, I think, for home form this season, and they've just battered us 4 0. Not one calendar, not one win this calendar year at home, and. And highly, I don't think they've scored in the last five games at home. United and they've just got four up. past us. And we've got Champions League Varane and Lindelof. And I'm not Maguire's biggest fan, but it doesn't matter who we put in defence at the minute, we leak goals. It could be Dallow at right back, it could be wan it could be Tellez, Luke Shaw. Not one of those players out there today can walk off with their heads held high. They were all appalling. Absolutely appalling. That's it. Out of that team that's there, Santino, mate. I mean... Is there any players there you've got a hope for going into next season? I mean, there's not one player in that team there that really performs today, but anyone you could hope that Ten Hag could get a tune out of? Maybe Ronaldo, because obviously I've got a, a soft romance for Ronaldo because of what he's done before. And I think deep down, obviously, Ronnie does care about this club. De Gea, that, that's the only two. I mean, we, we've asked for Dallo to play, we've asked for Tellez, we've tried Fred, we've tried everyone, but... Even Bruno, like oh, I'm Bruno's biggest fan, but he looks he's, lost he's at erratic. The moment, he's it? so erratic, so and sad. I think maybe a new manager coming in could sort of curb his his erratic play. But at the same time, it, it's almost like he's got the weight of Man United on his shoulders, and he feels that he's got to do over the top to win the games. And at the minute, they just need to play as a team, and we are so far from the team. It is a case of back to basics, isn't it? Yeah, it, it is. Really yeah, is. it is. It's just run for each other, work for each other, show that you care about the other 10 players on that pitch that you're running for. I mean, all of us here today, including yourself, we would give anything to just get five minutes to wear that shirt on that pitch, and they treat it like it's a, it's a given that they can play there. Yeah. Just, they need to be sold, we need to restart. But we are five, at least five years away from being anywhere near challenging again. You just described everything that every Brighton player on that pitch today is. They care. The effort, they, care they care for, they? for the 30 whatever thousand fans that turned up today. They walked off that pitch and they can all say that they put a shift in. For us travelling fans, Man United can drive away tonight. They can live in their mansions and look at social media. But deep down, they don't care about us. They don't care about the journey you've made, that I've made. 
that your mate over there's mate they don't care and that is what it comes down to care but it comes from the top down the glazers don't care so the players don't care Santino, brilliant cheers for coming on mate no thank you for having me adam